Rob Reiner was on MSNBC, and he called out Morning Joe for going soft on Donald Trump, and they didn't like it very much. Let's watch. What I'm saying is we, we, we have to start, you know, and you had Bob Woodward on your show at one point. Yeah. And I, he was fascinating. I, well, I remember him saying we have to hold these people accountable. Right. We have to ask those tough second, third, fourth, and fifth tier questions. Chris Matthews. Did, well, did you wait, see what happened wait, when, wait, wait, when wait. we let Woodward ask the second, third, fourth, and fifth questions? Well, I, I, I don't. Same exact thing that happens to everybody else. It doesn't I, matter. It doesn't matter. I know. It doesn't matter. Chris Matthews. Matthews held Trump accountable on his position on abortion. He right. didn't let him up. Right. He kept going at it, and it was the most revealing thing that happened during this entire campaign season. Mm -hmm. the, the words that have been flung out from his mouth to right. the, to the, are insane. If, if, if he was not a celebrity, mm -hmm. if Donald Trump was not a celebrity, right. the words that come out of his mouth would you'd see a guy in a park, a lunatic in a park on a soapbox, and you'd walk right by him. But the fact that he is a celebrity, all of a sudden, we're all interested. And you know, I love Steve Kornacki. I love the guys that work on your on right, your show. Right. But when Steve Kornacki says, "Can you imagine the ratings they're going to be when Trump and Hillary in the first debate?" Well, yeah, of course they're going to be raised, but who cares? Right. What we have to care about is what does this man say? Yeah. Which what does he say? Of course we do. He's not pinned down. I want to hear how he's going to no, deport Ron, 12 million people. Ron, I want to hear but, how but, but, he's going to. How is you're he going to wait? Because you're just talking, and you're not letting anybody else talk. I, we have asked those questions. I could, I would bet you your proceeds from your next 20 films that I could mm -hmm. find you any question that you bring up now about the wall, which me could try to nail him down. Uh, the, the, the Muslim ban. Minutes. We gave Bob yeah. Woodward 20 minutes. We said and, go for and, it. And what he does Ask. is he talks around in circles. So the questions are okay, asked, so, so, and they're repeated. No, and I, we've asked repeatedly. Okay, so then the so, next question is. Yeah? Why are you talking around in circles? Right. Why are you not answering my do. question? Yeah. Yes, we've asked that question. And then what does he say? He says, I am, believe me. Well, even when that's Mika not, says, wait a minute, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be you, I'll be you. Before, I, I, believe me is not an not answer. answer. Believe me is not an answer. That's what I said okay, to then, him, then what, Rob then what, No, wait, then what does he say? He sa he keeps going on and on and on in circles. Okay, and then, you act like you have so, some special so, thoughts Rob, that you think we're yeah, not adding to this. This, this is what everybody thinks, and it's one of the great frustrations of covering Donald Trump. People say, you know what you should really you ask him? Should, you I go, should be well, tough. we did, I'll send you the clip. You know you should really Except ask him we're this. we're going to make and you so a little finally, and We will. So finally you say, would you like me to actually get on top of him and, and like pin him down with my Maybe knees? I should stick my heel down his throat I mean, the and tell him is, he's not answering the question. Would that make you feel it's good? One of no, the, no. Is, is that not one of the frustrations that people always come say, well, why didn't you ask him this? Well, I did. And this is what he said. I it is an ongoing frustration for us. Well, they're apoplectic. What? Us? We've been tougher than anybody on Trump. How dare you suggest we haven't? This is a perfect case of thou doth protest too much. Hey guys, I got bad news for you. There's this thing that exists that was invented a while back. It's called video. We know how you treated him. Let's take a look. What about what you told Chris Matthews a few weeks ago, which is that women who get abortions should be punished. Do you still believe that to be true? No, he was asking me a theoretical or just a question of, in theory. And I talked about it only from that standpoint. Of course not. And that was done. He said, you know, I guess it was theoretically, but he was asking me a rhetorical question. And I, and I gave an answer. And by the way, people thought from, a, from an academic standpoint and asked rhetorically, People said that answer was an unbelievable academic answer, but of course not. And I said that afterwards. Everybody understands. Yeah. Hey, so, so uh, Donald, um, there are two uh, uh, family members uh, around this set that are very happy this morning. Uh, my brother uh, is extraordinarily happy. And He's a great guy, by the way. George, George brutalized me for nine months whenever I, I, I criticized you, and Nicole. I actually had to stop going home for a while. Start, last night. Uh, but my, her parents, did you get a, did you get I a text from it? last night. I make a speech, uh, oh. get on a plane, make a speech. I'm working. Well, I'll tell, tell you what, the Bloomberg poll, all, all the polls out today look great in South Carolina. All of them. Yeah. Well, you know, so, but I'm being hit. You know, they're spending 
$75 million in negative ads on me over the last two weeks. Are they catching on at all? No. Look that what way. do you think? Are they catching on? No. They're Who's vicious. That? They're spending a tremendous amount on negative ads on me. No. You know what I thought was the um, kind of wow moment was the guy you brought up on stage. Yeah, that was good. Um, we played it several times this morning. We played it up against Obama. Obama. The both guys. The both, both guys. guys. Oh, yes, we played Obama first. The young guy and was And then the we champ. played the guys. I saw it. I watched your show this morning. No. Oh. You have me almost as a legendary figure. I like. Well, I tell you, this morning, what we, what we basically said today was we were completely wrong about the totally. debate. Totally. Yeah. I thought. I thought I did really well in the debate show, <laughs> I have to tell you. I didn't. Yes, Alex? Three viewer questions. You, you did not, right? Oh, my God. I was like, he's melting down. I think his really? head's going to explode. I thought your head was going to explode. We were wrong. I did. We you thought what? We your head wrong. was going to explode. Oh, no. Yeah. no I thought <laughs> I did. Oh, yeah. My daughter was screaming at the by, by the way, By the way, he told me. He goes, I was having fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ryan, we have one more segment. One more segment, and then we're good. Thank you for doing this. Okay. I'm doing it because I said okay. you, know, you, get, you get great ratings and a raise. Mm -hmm. Me, I get nothing. We're getting a real window into your so. Well, just make us all look good. That's right. Exactly. Oh, okay. Do you don't want me to do um, the ones with the, um, um, deportation? We really have to get to some questions. Back. That's right. Nothing. Nothing too hard, Mika. Okay. Well, ours again. Look at that. So hard on him. We're so tough on him. We always we always go after him real difficult. Nothing too hard, Mika. Okay. You had me as almost a legendary figure in that thing that you were showing over and over and over. Yeah, we showed it a bunch of times. That's right. Yeah, really. Totally. When we said we you were did poorly in the debate, oh, we were so wrong. Forgive us, Mr. Trump. We love you. You want a smooth hand job here? Does that feel good? You like that? How pathetic. Pathetic. And they have the nerve to say to Rob Reiner, What are you- We've been very difficult on him! <laughs> and I love Mika's face, too, when she's angry at Rob Reiner. Rob Reiner, you think you have some sort of special sauce! No, he has eyes. That's what he has. He sees exactly what you're doing. And I actually think... So, one of them was obviously the audio when that was released from when the camera was off. But then... I actually think the first one is worse because the first one, Trump gives the worst answer in American political history about any question. And then uh, Morning Joe goes right back to coddling his ball sack. He's like, you know, Donald, there's some happy people. My brother loves you. And then Nicole Wallace's family loves you, too. It's so cute. They tweeted her about you. <laughs> Dude, he just said when he was asked, hey, should women get punished for abortions? Well, you know, what, what, what was happening in the debate was it was a theoretical question. Of course it wasn't a theoretical question. It was a theoretical question, and it was a thing in theory. And, you know, uh, see, what people who listened to my answer said, they said, well, actually, from academic perspective, in theory, rhetorically, it was a good, it was a perfect answer. It was the best answer ever. But no, absolutely not. It was theoretical. <laughs> so my brother loves you. No, you suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. Now, some people might say, well, Kyle, this is just a small sampling. That's true. Uh, but if I were to put a percentage on it, I would say at least 80% of the time, they suck at their job. Okay? Sometimes they do a decent job. Usually it's by accident. Like when they mentioned Bob Woodward. Bob Woodward really held his feet to the fire on how the fuck are you going to get them to pay for a wall if they say they're not going to pay for it, talking about Mexico. And he made Trump look like an asshole, which is correct, because Trump has no actual plan. What are you going to do, start a war with him? Bob would ask him, what are you going to start a war with him? Not going to fucking pay for it. What are you going to do? Okay, that was a rare example on their show of somebody doing their job. Outside of that, few and far between examples of it. It's softballs. Huh? It, Trump literally said, uh, all right, just make us all look good. And you could see Trump was prepping him. He was buttering him up. He's like, yeah, you know, I, I say I come on this show. You guys get good ratings. You get a raise. What do I get out of it? What do I get out of it? And Morning Joe's like, yeah, let's talk more. You're so hot. And Trump's like, well, you know, I, just make us look good. That's all. Uh, nothing too hard, Mika. Okay. Yeah, they're so, they're so hard on him. My ass cheeks.